What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Y'all, we're going to get us a good 20 minutes, but baby, Mr. Uh, LaTroy went off on Tamar. Yet again, y'all know he does this all the time. The difference this time is, first of all, where's my blistex? The difference between this time and any other time is he is absolutely not on her side at all, okay? She apparently uh, is complaining at the fact that she didn't make any money from her tour, and is blaming him. Okay. Now, remember when the whole Krishan debacle happened, uh, she said that um, she was pretty much good to go. Like, <laughs> what do I need clout for? You know what I'm saying? I My show was sold out. You know what I'm saying? Um, she shouldn't have any issues in that area. Her show been doing good, da da da. Now suddenly, remember after that debacle, she fired Mr. Latroy, which is the one who was running the show. Remember, because he was saying it was his show, she was saying it was her show, blah blah blah. Well, he exposing everything, girl. Just listen, just listen. What I'm saying right now is doing no justice. He just exposed it all. Okay, let's get it. Hear me. I have been on my <clears throat> best behavior lately. I have shown nothing but love and have said nothing but positive things about everything. Um, I got... <laughs> he always got that cry voice going on. You know, when you're trying to hold back them tears, girl, he be hot. A call today... Well, I got a call Saturday and again today, but the call that I got today really bothered me because it was from somebody I really respect. And there is somebody that's going around that is telling people that they didn't make a lot of money off of a tour because of me. Uh -huh. I want everybody to know that I'm very, 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 very serious about my business. So for that to get back to me that I am not, I am the reason why somebody went home from tour with no money pisses me off. Mm -hmm. And it pisses me off because your ass would have been at home making no money because nobody wanted to take your ass on tour. <laughs> so for you to lie on By me this point, he's and sick to of... lie on my business and say that I'm the reason you didn't go home, you didn't go home with no money because you had 18 people on that small ass stage. <laughs> that is why you wanted four dancers, two and a half background singers, a DJ, a, a, um, a drummer, and a bass player. That's why you went home with no money. Damn. So, Tamar thought that she was the old Tamar, had the old Tamar budget. Okay, so instead of just using herself, her voice, the stage, she decided to get backup dancers, backup singers, and a backup everything at this point. And uh, yeah, that's where we are. Don't go around. You want to blame everything on everybody else. It's everybody else's fault but yours. All the time. Especially with that Krishan situation. She never said, I know I shouldn't have invited Krishan. Knowing she shouldn't have invited Krishan because she wasn't performing. It was just everybody else's fault. But yeah. And I'm only saying that because y'all, Krishan didn't belong in that building. And I just feel like them as older people should have known that. Period. But it was Tamar's doing. My fault. We TV fault. Epic Records fault. E1 fault. Candy fault. Todd fault. Tiny fault. Um, K. Michelle fault. Toya fault. Uh, Vince fault. Like LaShawn fault. It's everybody's fault but yours. And you want to sit here and lie on me. I have not lied on you at all. I don't need to lie on you. Your life is, you, you, it's, your shit is already so fucked up. <laughs> I don't have to lie on you. You got to lie on me because you know I have a good reputation. Nobody has to lie on you and your badass reputation mm -mm. and your badass attitude while you sit over there and work Portia Williams' old job. Girl, I got to start putting them damn nine mag memes because facts. <laughs> 
When I tell you he went off on her ass today, he ain't done. Not today, but he ain't done. And you gonna lie? I'm the reason you didn't go home with no money. <laughs> I'm the reason your shit was f***ed up in Detroit. I'm the reason. Me. I'm the reason. The one that sat there and planned that shit with you because nobody else wanted to. And stop lying saying all them shows were sold out because they wasn't. Uh Now, ain't that some shit? Knowing damn well them shows wasn't sold out. That's just crazy. Why tell us the shows are sold out? Why would I have to do such and such and such and my shows are sold out? Like, girl, I am the clout type shit. Ma'am, you're not. Okay? How about that? Let's start telling the truth. Because it's only a read if it's true. Hello. And you gonna sit here and mess with my business talking about I'm the reason you didn't go home with no money. You would have been sitting over there and what time we call it? That mid-class family home <laughs> if it wasn't for me. <laughs> mid-class family. No, I said crazy. some of the shows were sold out. <laughs> That's where you would have been. So don't go around here lying on me, messing around with my business. Hello. I'm the reason you didn't go home with no money. No, I'm the reason you weren't at home. How about that? You run around telling people, girl, are you out of your mind? Over I, I, she needs to be checked in to a facility. Damn. And needs to stop playing around with these Instagram therapists and go to a facility. Cause it has to be, it, it just has to be. I keep drama going, okay, I keep it going. Hey, get off my page if you don't like my drama then. Uh. I'm not the one going around lying on people and she think cause she's famous and she got more money than me and then she sing a few songs that she can go around lying on me. Only thing I got is my voice. So it is what it is. Always blaming everybody else. Always bringing everybody down when you don't get your way. Always. 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 He is sick of her Always ass. everybody else's fault. And you don't care who you step on, who you run over, whose business you ruin. You do not care at all. At all. Y'all yeah, heard him. At all. I will say, like, I don't even feel like we knew much about, um, Tamar before this whole situation. I don't get me wrong. Some some people are just fan fanatics. They be knowing. I didn't. I had no clue, child. That album, she was performing on that tour, one of my favorite albums. So I had no idea of all these other things. And uh, yeah, she probably shouldn't have did this tour. 10 10 in the chat. And everybody can say, oh, who needs who needs enemies when you got friends like that? I listen. If you've been around, you know I have been nothing but a great friend. So y'all can keep saying that at home. I don't care. I don't care. Y'all think I'm a bad was a bad friend to that lady? That's what y'all think. If that's what she over there telling all those interns and community service workers <laughs> over there at Malibu's most wanted house, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah. So you're not gonna I don't know the man's name because they keep calling him everything but his name. Do is you're not going to play with me and my business. And that's just the point, the blank, and the period. Hello. Point blank, period. I'm the reason why you ain't going home with no money. No, if you stop flying people around with them big ass tacky ass chains mm. that probably need their own seat, <laughs> you might have went home with more. <laughs> I know she said it because the person that told the two people that told me said things that only she would know. That's why I know she said it. That's why I'm so upset. That's why I got on here.
That is why. Because the two people that told me should not have known what they told me. Damn. How about that? I thought we was besties too. Besties don't do each other like that. Besties don't do each other like that. She was no best friend of mine at all. Child, I thought I would be able to do 20 minutes, but I think I'm going to wrap it up in a minute. He really saying the same thing. He just tired of the fact that um, she tried it. She's not being a good friend and... um, She's not taking accountability for nothing. And, I mean, he ain't no better because he's a damn liar, too. Uh, He was lying throughout the whole Krishan situation. Both of y'all was lying. And I'm only speaking on the Krishan situation because that's the only situation I know of with them. But they lied throughout that whole situation with her. Definitely lied. They had nothing to stand on because they lied so much. She was not. Because now, because now, because everybody don't read her about homegirl coming and punching her friend, now she want to switch the narrative. Now it's, she going home without no money because of me. You should have stayed your ass at home. Why did you add more? Why would you add more shows if I am the reason you can't, you're coming home with no money? Why did you add more shows? Why? I done known this lady for 12, 13 years now. Why was she I defended, I have defended her when she has been dead ass wrong. And that's the problem. <laughs> and that's a the lot problem. of y'all on here know it. Y'all don't want me talking about why can't nobody talk? Why, why nobody can talk about stuff? I'm gonna talk about it. Because it's not fair. You can't go around lying on people. Y'all shouldn't go around lying at all. Okay, none of y'all. But anyway, I'm done with this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Um, During that situation, we all knew they was lying, y'all. Respectfully, it was a lie. Now, maybe not being punched in the face. The rest of it was a lie, though. Um, Especially how it happened. You can't take... None of them have credibility because they all be lying. And I know that credibility came off wrong, but they all be lying. So... Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.